Okay, here's how to set up the pig scale. First, you wanna make sure that it's level. This is not a great example of level, and we are in a total just back corner of the ranch, but it's about as level as I could get. I put a piece of wood under the corner, so it's kind of level. The first thing you wanna do is the tires are on these handles. You need to unlock the handles away. See how it's free on both sides. It's free, okay? It's sitting on the ground, flat. The tires are not supporting the scale in any way. Next, you need to release it, these levers down here, and you wanna pull them back like this, okay? Now, when you pack it back up and you're gonna trailer it somewhere, very important, you gotta remember to close these back up. Yes. Okay, so I want these, and there's four. This one came undone, but again, this is the locked position. You want it in the unlocked position. It's really important. The scale has to swing freely, otherwise you're not gonna get the right weight and you're gonna just be so frustrated. Okay, again, it was like this. I'm in the back corner now. And I come to my other corner. And again, it unflipped on me because the, it was moving around. But if it's like this, you wanna make sure you unflip it. And if you see what's happening here, see how I can fit my finger underneath, right? But when it's closed, I can't, I can't get my finger under there because the scale is sitting on it and you're not gonna get a weight if it's sitting on it. Again, it has to be able to help. See how this is moving? The whole scale can swing and move. Okay, so now you've got that all loose. Next, you gotta set up the actual scale part or the balance of the scale. So, first you get the big piece here. And you wanna be able to read the numbers. This goes to the end here. And it's easy as if you kinda of flip that under and it'll just slide right in to place on this side. Then, this is the key to the scale. This piece right here, this is the balance of your scale. This is where you actually get the moment arm. I don't know if that's the right term, but it sounds good. This sits, see how it's grooved? That sits in the grooves. All right, and now it will move appropriately. Okay, so we have this. Next, we have to make the scale talk to the balance arm. That is with this piece right here. This, I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna hook it right here. I don't know if I'm strong enough to do it while holding the camera. Let's just see if I am. With my COVID shot, my left arm, I was able to do it. You can do it too. Okay, now you're thinking, but the scale still isn't at zero. You're right, because one, I moved this when I was setting it up. I'm gonna set this to zero. And you're thinking, what the heck? The scale still isn't right. Now what do I do? Now you gotta put the weights in. We cover to the box and we grab the one with the hook. The one with the hook. Goes right here, and it should go. I had it earlier. So this is when you think, okay, what am I doing wrong? But actually we're good, because it's flat. I'd like it to be right here, right here, is where I'm trying to get it at. But when I was moving it around, so this is free, this is free, this is free. What I'm gonna do is get this back under here. And I'm gonna move the scale. I have it here. Why am I not balanced here?
Okay, so see how it went down five? And if I go like this, it goes back up. That kind of mean right now my scale is about three pounds off. See that? Zero, one, two, three. And how it's swinging freely now. So because the scale isn't totally flat, it's gonna be off a little bit. So you've got a three pound fudge factor right now. Okay. At this point, you can weigh anything up to 100 pounds, right? But you're thinking, my pig weighs more than 100 pounds. Okay, we got a fix for that. Come over to the box. You have two weights. You have a thicker weight and a thinner weight. And they've got rusted and it's hard to read. But the thinner weight, if you get it just right, it says 100 pounds. If this one just right, you can see it says 200 pounds. You kind of just get it at the right angle of the sun, 200 pounds. So, start with a 100 pound weight. And it just slides right onto the can looking thing. And you'll notice right away what happens. The scale goes down. So, once you load your pig in the scale, and that's right here, you lift the bar up here. This lifts up. Load your pig in. Pull it down. Can't get out. And then this is going to go up like this. And then you're going to slowly move this over until it swings like this again. Okay? The best way to tear it is to put a 50 pound seed feed sack in there because you know exactly that it's 50 pounds and then you know you got the right weight. If your pig weighs 200 pounds or more, and you're gonna put the 200 pound weight on. And that goes on the same spot right here. And unfortunately, I don't have a pig with me. They're up at the barn. And that's how you use your Jeffrey scale. Go forage leader. Okay, call me if you have questions.